Welcome back inside the Rose Hill Gym. First official day of practices around the nation for college basketball. Season opener, November 25th. Emmanuel Barbari joined by Florida men's basketball head coach, Jeff Neubauer. Coach, how's it feel? How refreshing is it to be back in the gym? It is good to get back in the gym. And as I've mentioned before, college basketball has become a year-round sport. However, up here in New York, it's not so this year. And so the normal summer workouts that we're used to, working out our team, helping guys to improve, it just didn't happen this summer. So this year, it does feel like college basketball 30 years ago when coaches really couldn't touch their players until October 15th. Well, that's basically what we had this year. As you mentioned, it's been a very challenging time throughout the country. What's been your message to the team throughout all these difficulties entering the practice time? Well, in general, you know, in the spring and the summer, we just wanted our guys to be safe. And so we really encouraged guys to do everything they could to keep themselves healthy. Now that we're back on campus, we're still promoting that message. So important that our guys don't allow what's happening at other schools to happen here. With that being said, it's time to also build a team. And so we're working to try to become a more unified and better basketball team here in the court. Coach, in order to build that team moving forward, you have three newcomers joining the fold this year, Julian Dozier, Yami Butler, Alvy Evans. How have they adjusted to this different time? Well, they do have a lot to learn, and they've actually done really well so far. The challenge for them is that they didn't have all that leading. They didn't have the normal preparation of a college basketball season. Also, we have told our team we are hitting the ground running. In a normal year, I really like to start at the beginning. I like to coach our guys, even the veterans, as if they've never learned anything about basketball before. This year, we've taken a different approach. We have a lot of veterans who understand how we guard, how we play, and so those three guys you mentioned are really trying to just keep their heads above water. One of those veterans now, Joel Soriano, entering his second season, really finished last year very strong. What improvements have you loved in Joel's game? Really thrilled with the way Joel finished the season. What he was, was physical. And that really developed as the season went along. His skill set really improved as the season went along. He caught the ball, he finished the ball. His hook was so much better. So Joel has made himself a very important part of our program and he's earned every bit of it. He really has become one of the focal points at the offensive and defensive end. Coach, last year, a difficult year. You're looking to build this program moving forward. If there's one area the team needs to thrive this year to get where you want to be, what's that one area? So we talk about this with our team. It happened about three times today in the first practice. But to be great, we have to be a great defensive team. And so last year, we were really, really, really good. I mean, we were terrific at the defensive end. We can't do that this year. We've got to literally be one of the 10 best defensive teams in the country. At the offensive end, we have to get a shot up on every possession. We are going to make threes this year. We're going to be such a good shooting team. We do have great post presence with both Oni and Joel. We have got to make sure our value for the ball is at a high level. Coach, thanks a lot for your time. Good luck in practice leading up to the season opener. Yeah, thanks, Emmanuel. Emmanuel Barbari alongside sophomore forward Joel Soriano. Joel, how's everything going? Well, how, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. How's everything been this fall adapting to what's been a very new normal on campus? Uh, at first, it was very tough. We've been going for, we weren't with each other for like six months, so I was getting back, getting back in the groove and everything. It's been tough, but we, I feel like we're starting to build our chemistry and get back to normal. You mentioned those six months that was very challenging for everyone throughout the country. How difficult was it to stay in game shape and get ready for a time like this? Um, at first, it was, it was very tough. I mean, I was working out a little bit at home, but I know everybody didn't have an opportunity to get in the gym. So at first, our conditioning was very bad. We started off with one-on-one -on -one workouts, but we, we slowly built it up. And I feel like we're, we're getting back in the groove. Joel, you're one of the key players entering the year. Finished last year very strong, culminating with that performance in the Atlantic 10 tournament. 14 points, 12 rebounds against DW. What changed in the middle of that year that allowed you to thrive? Uh, I feel like the game got slow for me. I feel like uh, my teammates started to trust me some more. I, I built more confidence in myself. And coach kept it, kept it up for me. He told me that, that he needs me. He needs me to score the basketball. And I, I lived up to the challenge. If there's one area of your game you want to improve for this year, what would that be? Um, I feel like my leadership, my leadership needs to be needs to be better. I feel like me, Jay Cobb, 
We lost a we lost AP, we lost Ghazi, so we need to build up our, our leadership skills. Yo, well, thanks for the time. Appreciate you. Back with junior guard Jalen Cobb. First day of practice, Jalen. How was it getting back out with the team? It was great to get on the court and compete with my teammates. It was great. The, the intensity was good. Everything was good. The team returns a lot of its mainstays from last year, but yeah. loses one of its leaders, Antoine Portley. Okay. How much of a leadership role have you taken on? I was taking on a big leadership role coming to my junior year. I'm just talking to the young fellas and just leading by example and leading with my voice. That time from April to July where not a lot was going on, how much did it take to keep yourself in a rhythm and, and get ready for a moment like this? It didn't take a lot because I was ready. I knew this time would come eventually, so I just wanted to be available for my teammates and just be the best player I can be coming into my junior year. One of your signature moments last year, 22 points against George Washington right here at Rosedale. Where do you want to be on the floor to produce that consistently? Where's your comfort zone? My comfort zone is, uh, I think, mid-range and from the three. Just being able to create, uh, I'll close out, so I'll pick and roll, reads and everything like that. Just being a, a good player. What's one improvement you want to make into this year? My decision making and just being more vocal with my teammates and my coaches. Jalen, thanks. Good luck. Thank you.